Hello guys, it's Dozel. I'm gonna do a little let's play on uh, Mountain Blade Warbands. The Full Invasion 2 mod. Now, what is Mountain Blade? Mountain Blade was created by Tales, War Tales Worlds Entertainment and Paradox Interactive. Now, what Mountain Blade essentially is, is a medieval sandbox game. It sets itself in a medieval time where you can, when you spawn, you can play as either, as many things, just being a mercenary, developing your relationships with the uh, kings of the realm, or you can actually be one of the nobles of, the, of said realm and take your fight to your kingdom's enemies. Now, in Warband, you can actually take that a step further by actually uh, renouncing your oath to the Sovereign and you can actually uh, create your own kingdom in Warband. There's three games, Mountain Blade, Mountain Blade Warband, and Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword. <laughs> right now, I'm going to show you uh, just a little gameplay of Mountain Blade Warband uh, Full Invasion 2 mod. Now, what f the thing about the Mountain Blade games is that they end up having a lot of mods. There's like tons of them. Tons of these mods. And, uh, what happened was, uh, there are still some in development just for Warband. There's like, for whatever reason, people just tend to use Warband more than they do any of the other games. Any of the other two games. Reason being, because it's really the only one of that you really should play. Uh, there's like, too many problems with, with Fire and Sword. It's... It's kind of like, it's supposed to be a third expansion allowing you to do more, except it doesn't. It actually does you, allows you does the same amount of stuff in uh, Mountain Blade. It actually should. Um, it actually should be worthy of just calling itself its own mod for... Uh, the original Mountain Blade instead of an expansion. Okay. So... What is Full Invasion 2? Full Invasion 2... Never hearing of uh, Full Invasion. Well, let me get started on the... Creative Power... Character first. Now, when you first try to play a multiplayer game... I'm usually just doing multiplayer. Sometime in the future I may, uh... Show you a few videos of, uh the campaign. Now, here you just type in your name, like what I'm doing right now. Yeah, gender. You can edit the face a little. Depending on the mod means more customization for your character. Like I know, as a fa matter of fact, the uh, DLC for a uh, war band called Napoleonic Wars Allows you to do like a little stuff like he can wear glasses or he can have a pipe or a cigar in his mouth. And, uh, yeah. Now, this is quite interesting with Full Invasion 2. You get to select from a wide variety of banners. Like a really wide variety. Some of them are just art, some of them are just are based off based off uh historical factions, others just other video games. Like for example, you can, it, there's even one from a, from a comic book, Viva Vendetta, and you got say one, two, three ones based off uh Assassin's Creed. No, this is all fan stuff, so Then you got a few things here. I think this one is from Skyrim. I'm not sure. But yeah. And you can actually choose your banner to be a uh, troll face. It's very quite comical. 
Got one from Resident Evil. I forget which. I think I know this one. I'm not sure. This one, if I'm wrong, it's not what I think it is. It's from uh, Star Wars Bounty Hunter symbol. Almost. Got a few others. Yeah, see, yeah, like a little more troll faces. <laughs> Just take your pick of the take. I personally like this wolf one because it's like just because of the three wolf heads. All right, let's join a game. Now, when you're trying to jo join a server, what you really need to do is uh, do server filter. Click has players and compatible with version. That essentially means compatible with uh, mod. So if you're using any mod, be it uh, Full Invasion 2, what were the few others that are quite popular? Bear Force, which is Star Wars mod. Got a few of these. Now I'm looking this looking at this and I'm not entirely sure. I haven't played this mod in a while. Well, I played it a little bit before this video because I was trying to see if the FPS wouldn't crap out on me. Like at when I was playing uh when I was playing uh trying to do a video on uh Napoleonic Wars. Now Full Invasion two allows you to uh play cooperative cooper cooperatively with your fellow players uh it's complete co-op as far as i know i think there's a few times where you can play as uh at faced versus but what uh full invasion essentially is and it combines a lot of the biggest science fiction and just simple nerdgasms all over the world and brings them into one mod. So literally what you're seeing right in here right now is uh, Pelennor Fields. Sorry, I think someone's trying to come in the other room. Uh, Which is a scene, a battle scene from uh, Lord of the Rings, and there's Lord of the Rings combined, as it's set called. This faction. And uh, you just simply play as what you want to play. Choose the equipment, and you wait till the next wave to spawn. Now sometimes you get a little like image on your on the left hand corner of the screen that simply allows you to uh... that will say like invalid unit or something error code and sometimes that can prevent you from spawning until the next wave so I'll uh... wait till I spawn before I continue this video Alright guys, just spawned in. Let me show you some of this gameplay. Far from me. Uh, yeah, so what essentially Full Invasion 2 is, is that it's a cooperative game. Survival. You wait, try to play as uh, best you can to survive every level. I don't know what the level cap is because... My previous experience with this game is that there's a bunch of freaking pole spammers. For whatever reason, there's that's not the case in this uh, in uh, this server. Barely any uh, poles have been. I was playing on the server earlier, and there was literally no poles. Like sometimes you'd get one you want to play as, and then somebody else, some asshole. Um, would just simply say, nope, 
and start a poll again voting for another thing and some people would either vote yes on that or mistakenly vote yes on that a lot of people just simply just can't play the freaking game and just have fun you know what I'm saying so what if you're not a freaking a Lord of the Rings fan who freaking cares you're just playing fucking a game mode a game that allows you to use Lord of the Rings characters. It's armor and weapons, actually. And it's it, it's when that happens, when there's just poll spammers, it gets annoying because you wouldn't even be able to play for about like five freaking minutes. Five freaking minutes. Like you really can't play one fucking level, one fucking match for five fucking minutes before there was another another poll. Now I think they may have updated the stuff to the point where you can't do that so some sometimes I, I would assume that this entire because I heard earlier that the polls were disabled so I think uh, sorry for the FPS sometimes it just goes in and out in and out you know what I'm saying like you are fighting massive mobs. <sighs> yeah. So other things you can play in this game. You can play uh, samurai on a server that uh, that has that mission available. You can play as uh, 300 or like Spartans versus Persians. Even though I find that one a little bit grinding. Like, you can be sit there in a shield wall, and that's just boring. And, uh, playing as a shield wall. And not a bad tactic. Not a bad tactic, actually. Uh, regiments do play other mods similar to... Uh, yeah. By the way, uh, community regiments are like clans, and they set up these uh, battles. our events and they end up uh, it, it's a pretty cool thing to be a part of and to watch actually it's better just to be a part of it because you won't get the true experience of almost getting like for example in Napoleonic Wars uh, you won't feel the same uh, experience just watching it through a YouTube video so you gotta go play it as a reg and be a part of a regiment mm. Uh oh. Archers. Now what I'm using right now is uh fire arrows. Now they have reduced act fuck you. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> 